Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for number bonds to 50. And we're going to do this for addition questions. Now let's have a look at our first example. And we're going to do this with a slightly different method from the previous tutorial. Okay, so let's write the question and then we'll work through it. We have 26 plus something equals 50. 26 plus something equals 50. Now what we did in the previous tutorial was we moved this 26 across to this side over here and we subtracted it from 50 to find the missing number. Well, we're not going to do that this time. With this method, what we're going to do is we're going to start at number 26 and we're going to add the number which makes it equal to 50. Okay, this is very good for mental arithmetic because once you get the hang of this, you can work with much larger numbers as well. So we're starting at 26. And how many units do we have? We've got six units. How many units do we need to get to? We'll look after the equal sign. We've got the number 50 has got zero units. Now we're adding to the number six. So how do we get it to equal zero? Well, the next number after six, which has got a zero in the units, is 10. So what number do we have to add to this six to make it equal to 10? Well, the answer is four. Six plus four equals 10. And because it equals 10, we've got a 10 that we have to carry across. Okay, so the one is going across to the tens column. Now we're going to do the tens. How many tens do we have? Well, we don't have two because we carried one over. We've actually got three. So there are three tens. How many tens do we need to get to? Have a look at number 50. We need to get to five tens. So what number added to the three is going to give us five? The answer is two. And we have our answer. It is 24. So 26 plus 24 equals 50. Now that looks a little bit complicated. It may seem like a slightly longer method, but this it is imperative that you understand how we've done this and you must do this as well because then you can work with larger numbers with mental arithmetic. Okay, we're now going to move on to a second example and we're going to use the same method as above. Okay, we've got something plus 37 equals 50. Now using the same method we are going to start at number 37 and we're going to add the number which makes it equal to 50. Okay so let's have a look at number 37 starting with the units we've got seven units. How many units do we need to get to? We'll have a look at number 50 we need to get to zero. Now we're adding to 7, so the next number which has got 0 as the units is 10. So what number added to 7 is going to make it equal to 10? 7 plus 3. 7 plus 3 equals 10. And because it equals 10, we've got the 10 to carry over. Okay, we've done the 10s. Now, sorry, we've done the units, now the 10s. How many 10s do we have? We don't have three, we've actually got four. Okay, we carried one over, we've got four tens. How many tens do we need to get to? Look at number 50, we need to get to five tens. So what number added to four is going to give us five? The answer is one. And we have our answer, it is 13. 13 plus 37 equals 50. So that is another method of how we find the missing number for number bonds to 50 for addition questions.